now we will study new topic structures within structure here is nothing but a structure variable I can declare within a structure definition okay that is we will see the syntax <coughs> struct tag name 2 if you observed we are giving tag name 2 it means already one structure is defined that structure variable we are going to use inside this tag name 2 okay if you observe here struct tag name 1 yes where 1 were written that is nothing but struct tag name 1 there is nothing but data type okay and yes where 1 that is nothing but one structure variable of tag name 1 we are going to declare it within a tag name 2 structure okay so here we are declaring structure variable within a one more structure okay so we will take one example okay now consider as a student structure previously we had a three members that is roll number name and mars now the structure can have one more member that is date of birth dob okay so to, to do that so if you observe here in student here we are adding one more structure variable but this structure should be defined before the student structure so here so here we are defining first one structure call it as a date the structure name is date okay so there we are defining three members that is day month and year that is nothing but day can have 1 to 31 number month can be written as a english letters then year any four digit number we can write it okay so this structure we defined so this structure variable we can create inside a student structure that is structure this is a structure within a student structure okay so structure within structure we are going to create it now let us see how to access the data members okay so first we'll see how to declare a variable that is nothing but previously whatever we used to do same thing that is data type then this is the data type then variable name as it is and accessing if you saw student it has now four data members that is roll number directly it's a one integer variable is there name one string variable is there mars one float variable is there so previously whatever we used is same as that of as that only but here now we have dob the dob is nothing but one dob we declared here as a one variable of structure type so now if this dob again have three fields so we have to access these three fields so how we'll access is that is yes one dot dob so in dob again we have three fields so again we'll give dot then corresponding fields that is day month and year so here so here we are saying as a s1 dot dob then corresponding things so like that you can add structure within a structure or n number of hierarchy we can make it okay like a structure is there inside b b stru structure is there inside c c structure is there inside d like that hierarchy you can make it okay while accessing just you have to use the dot operator that is a dot b dot c dot like that you have to access it so whatever variable name you will give depending on that you have to access it so let us take one program now so here we are going to write the program that is nothing but it has to read a student information now student information contains roll number name mark and date of birth also and you have to display it so previously we studied only roll number name and mars now we will take date of birth also and date of birth format is given that is dd then month it has three letters okay then yyy -Y -Y. okay so now we will write program that is hash include studio.h and to write a stu student structure so it should have 
one more structure before that that is date so before writing this one we required date structure definition okay so here we'll define that one that is stuck date okay open bracket so inside open bracket we're writing three members that is day month and year okay so if you observed he given format as a month as a three letters okay but we're declaring month as a array of that is month character four bytes why four bytes it will take three valid characters that is considered as a for january j a n and it has to end with slash zero every string should end with slash zero so three letters followed by slash zero total four bytes so we are going to take four bytes here then in main we are going to create a variable of student so here we are creating one student variable then we are asking user to enter the information that is student roll number name and mars this is already we have studied same thing then here for reading date of birth date of birth contains three things that is first one is day so 1 to 31 you can give then month it is a string now that is nothing but three letters you have to enter it then year so here we are reading that is s1 dot dob dot day so that is structure within a structures member you are calling it okay s1 dot dob that is a structure and inside that member was a day so like that for a month then for a year all three were reading it so it's contained total date of birth now we'll display the result that is something but student name so s1 dot name we are displaying here then followed by his date of birth date of birth we are displaying percentage d hyphen percentage yes hyphen percentage d so we are displaying like this let us see how output will come so here in output first statement enter the st student roll number name and mars that is we are entering as a 101 peter 96 and enter student date of birth that is day first then month then year so here we are entering 01 then jan 2011 so it will display so whatever name and date of birth we received that is peter and date of birth is a 01 hyphen jan hyphen 2011 let us study new topic that is structures and functions okay here that is functions already we studied and structure basics we studied so how structures can be used along with functions we'll study now so already we know for a functions we have three main elements okay that is function declaration function call and function definition okay so in those three things how structure will be used that we'll study now okay so here structure if you want to use it inside in inside a function that is not a problem that is inside function you will declare the structure and you will use it but if you are calling a function and you are sending a structure those things we have to look at so here we will see those things that is so here if you saw this is a function declaration okay this is the return type function name and here we had parameter list okay so parameter list that is nothing but normally used to give data type then variable name so now so we'll give here structure data type name then variable name okay so it will that structure data type name is nothing but stuck keyword then name of the structure whatever we given then variable so that is a in a declaration part so for example here if we saw wide wide display wide display then stuck student okay that is a name of a or data type both words together stuck and student then s1 is a one variable that we are sending it so how we'll use this one in function call that is here while calling function you will be having function name then you have to pass the parameter that is variable name you have to give it suppose in a function i am using as a s1 is a one 
structure variable that I will send it to the display function. So here, for example, for a display function, I am sending s1 is a one variable. Okay. So let us see how function definition will be there. So here, this is a return type function name. This thing will be same as that of function declaration part. This first line exactly same. Okay, but except just open bracket and close bracket will be there instead of here semicolon semicolon will remove and open bracket close bracket within that we will write the some statements that is a functionality whatever we want to implement it so here it's already receiving the structure okay so variable name is there okay then we will implement it some functionality for example wide display here yes one we are receiving it okay then we are displaying it so how we are displaying suppose i want to display yes one student's name okay that is in printf statement student name we are given as a yes one dot name so that is how we access the structure normal basic thing okay so now let's see how we'll write a program so here we'll write a program to read a student information that is nothing but roll number name and mars will read it in a structure then that structure will pass to the function okay that function name we are calling as a display okay and it will be displayed in that function okay so here while writing functions what we did is normally so after hash include stdio.h we return function declaration okay and we studied functions def and we studied uh, uh, structure definition also we have to write before main ok so before main we have to write function declaration also then function uh, structure definition also so both things we have to write it so which one we have to write first so here I am written that is structure definition first then function declaration you can change this order so depending on whichever you are comfortable you can write it that is structure definition you can write it first or function declaration you can write it so here in this here in this function declaration it's taking one parameter that is stuck student data type stuck student data type which taking then that variable name we given as a s1 okay so here structure is defined as a stuck student the roll number name and mars three things three member functions are there okay so now let us see how to write main so here main we are writing that is one variable we are declaring it structure variable we are declaring it. that is stuck student s yes, one so here one printf statement is there there we are asking to enter the roll number name and mars so we will receive in s yes, one dot roll number s1 dot name s1 dot mars three things will read it then we are calling a function so here we are calling a function that is display function so here while calling we are sending a s1 parameter that is whatever parameter we declared and whatever values we received so this one will send it to the display function inside display function we will print the values that is roll number of a student student name student mars will print it so here while accessing inside a function that structure members again same thing will use that is using dot formation that is s1 dot roll number s1 dot name s1 dot mars like that only okay now let us see how output will come so here we saw first printf statement okay so this was there as a just enter the student roll number name and mars so it will display that is the first printf statement so let's enter the student roll number name and mars so user will enter that is one peter and 96 some value okay so here after that it will call this function okay so display function we are calling it so inside display function we are printing it so whenever it will call display function control will go to the, this function so here we are printing it so that is roll number whatever we received in s1 structure variable that is one 
then student name that is peter then marcel 96